just because they don't click on it, they still see it, you know what I mean? survey them or at least call them and ask them questions. Why did you leave? Um, and if you have somebody else who could do that, that's better because I don't call. So for example, if a trainer trains somebody, uh, I won't let that trainer of course do that, but somebody else will call them back and do that for them. So because they wouldn't tell you in their face, but they will tell you to somebody else. And then and then just start building on it because they will say stuff like, oh, I don't think it works. And then you will need to find out why do you don't think it works. And then you need to build something, you know, on it that why they think that stuff doesn't work. And then and it could be just little things. Like it could be just very really small things, and it's so easy to fix. And then your your uh, retention will change like crazy. Ours changed like crazy too when we started doing our ads. And first I was worried too. The first six months I was like. Actually, not six months. I said the first three months I was like, shit, I mean, these clients are coming and leaving. Um, but then it turned out to be uh, good once we fixed that issue. So often I get asked that what is the number one job as a business owner? And the number one job is, as a business owner, is to lead and coach your team and basically to be a quitter because as soon as you quit you can actually focus on more on leading and the problem is that most people do that as they get bigger and bigger they get more busier in the office or do whatever they do that they're not supposed to do especially personal trainers when they start their own gym they start training in their own gym instead of focusing on the business side of it so now all of a sudden you get sidetracked and do all these things so you can do your actual job which is leading and then what that means is actually that you have to hire the right people build the right team and then don't speak for them, let them speak their own mind, bring out the best of them, because everybody's basically that you're high, are going to work under their capabilities, and it's your job to bring out greatness of them. So you just have to push them to the limits, praise them, help them, and make them grow. That's your number one job, to have your team grow. Speaking of team and players, uh, we are actually hiring. So if you are somebody who is not afraid to being pushed to the limits, and achieve greatness and want to revolutionize the fitness and the space industry, then make sure to send a 30 second video to us because you want to find the best of the best. Ready? Mm -hmm. right. So this first one is basically what you would do. The title of the workout would go up here, okay? So you think that's enough time for you to get everything in, explain the workout. We start off with the wide, and then we'll go into the close-up. How long is that, by the way? This one is 25 seconds. Oh, yeah, that's so definitely yeah. enough time it's, to uh, explain it. You're there in the, in the upper half, and then we'll go down. down oh, again. yeah, it looks cool. And then yeah. we'll expand the bottom half. And then this is your domes. <laughs> so these go a little faster because, you know, we were saying, obviously, the speed. Well, I was doing it faster, too, right there. <laughs> that's true. Oh, oh God, that's terrible. And then bad form. <laughs> and then finally, the uh, the heels. And we even go oh, okay. closer so that we get the idea. Okay? Awesome. One more time. Behind the scenes. Lizzie, you are up. Lizzie, Lizzie, action. Yeah. Oh yeah. versus an affordable one. 
Let's focus on that so we can pull people out of poverty, not just put them in an isolated, blighted part of the city that they can afford to live. I'm also going to fight like hell for the homeless. I have a four-step plan that's going to get these guys off the streets, get them back to work, get them the medical health care they need, and find a path to health. I also want, and I will, if I have to go to every city in the state of Florida and knock on the door of every single mayor, I'll do it to win them over and get them to sit by my side so we can go to our governor and put the pressure on him or her to go straight to the top and lift the embargo on Cuba. Yes, sir. Lifting the embargo for Cuba is not only good for Tampa, it's great for the state of Florida, and frankly, it's what America needs to be safe. It is in our best interest to make sure we have an interest in Cuba, and I'll do whatever it takes to make sure that embargo gets lifted. I can't do it on my own, but the mayors in, this, in, in the state of Florida, we can put the pressure on our government. We absolutely can. Yeah. Um, uh, and last night, I will work so hard to get the city council and the county commissioners to start playing in the same damn sandbox. Yeah. It's time they put their crap aside and start working as a team. Yeah. I hope that you see fit to make me your mayor. If you do, I will be the best damn employee you've ever hired. I will work hard to make sure that Tampa, by the way, you know what? I, I talked about metrics to pay for the employees. I will also turn over my fate to the city council and let them establish some metrics for success for me as the mayor. And I'm willing to put my pay on the line for that as well. I want to make the city of Tampa the number one city in the world for small business owners. Happy Monday, everyone. Have you guys realized that on Monday everybody is hustling and then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday they slowly slow down and then Friday they want to kill themselves? Or in the gym too. It's like you go into the gym on a Monday and it's busy and then everybody's doing bench press. It's like the National Bench Press Day is on Monday. So why don't you actually pace yourself and work every day and not just like hustle one day out of the week. Do the 20 mile march instead of trying to just kill yourself on the first day. You know, if you actually have a plan what you're going to do for the week, for the day, for the month, for the year, for the quarter, whatever, then you don't have to kill yourself on the first day of each week and then the next day you're just gonna say oh I will just do it tomorrow that's what most people do so what you need to do is actually plan ahead and each day needs to be planned out and then you just do what you planned you when you accomplish that you do whatever you want to do you don't have to kill yourself on the first day first week first month whatever just make sure you plan it out accomplish that and then there is always the next day and then do it then most people they get so excited about a new fitness routine about a new job they just go all in on the first couple of days and then all of a sudden or the week or maybe the first month and then all of a sudden they just lose interest they're gonna start get lazy they their sales are done or fitness is done results are not coming and they get dismotivated and that's because they overdid it at the beginning instead of planning out how they are going to progress at their new job or fitness routine <laughs>